What up everybody, welcome to the channel, I am your host Mike Fear, and I make informative videos just like this one, so please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content as I run for my dear life. I am going to be showing you guys how to get the two most overpowered two-handed weapons in the entire game. Now obviously, the first one is, yeah, you guys actually pretty good at it. The first one's going to be in this location, I'm going to show you guys right now, let me just get rid of these boots. I always love the way that the troll dies with the rock in his hand. Alrighty. That clears up that up, right? Why are you still moving? Oh yeah. So here we are. I'm gonna show you guys. Sorry, I paused it. Show you guys exactly where to get it. So, you guys already know. Starting positions west of Caracas World Heart, you're gonna head all the way up north. This is going to be near the Alp storage base. So this is the depot. This is the Alp storage base. You're going to want to head north even more. It's going to be west of the old hangars. It's going to be in this general location. So if you see this black spot on the map and see this area, if you've already locked the, Ig um, the Ignodon old convert, it's going to be east of that. It's going to be in this general location. If you go all the way up, you're going to see it. It's going to be like this frozen lake. It's going to be right smack dab in the middle of it. This is the Executioner. Now, both of these weapons are two-handed weapons. The issue with both of these weapons is that I believe, personally, if you did not go into a melee build, they are not worth it other than the fact that you might want to collect them because you're a legendary collector, which is okay. This is cool. This is the Executioner. The Executioner is fairly strong. The one I'm going to show you guys is even stronger than that and but look at the strength it's 89 my attribute points at my base value i'm at 60 and it's asking five per point that is a crap ton of ability points it sucks because yeah or attribute points i apologize it sucks because god damn man like that's a lot now i'm gonna show you guys the second one and the second one is actually pretty easy to get oh come on yo I ever get to rest from you guys no all right so this one is actually e um west i apologize west of the depot you're gonna come over here to i'm obviously on top of it this is called volcano compass premise but when you're in reality you want to come over here it's going to be in this little black spot it's a volcano spot and you just go Go straight. Now, in this general area, there's going to be two Cyclopses. You're going to see the material materialize and die in a second. There they are. <laughs> Why? Because I killed them already. I've been here. I just didn't know that there was a legendary up here. And that is Steam Hammer. Whoops. I'm about to die. Sorry, if you get too close, obviously, you're going to see it starts getting a little bit too hot. This is Steam Hammer. And I can't control Jax for some weird reason. This is Steam Hammer. They both have the same issue. 90 for strength, 89 for the other one. I think they're way... Yeah, they're good because 432 is a crap ton of damage for one swing. But damn, man. 90 is a crap ton of points, yo. So it's like, what? decide what you, what you want. I have, I'm full in stats and everything. All right, am I going to go pure melee build and forfeit everything else and just add points to strength? I add points to strength for all them. Strength? Like, no, like I'm not going to sacrifice all this intelligence and dexterity for 90 strength. So if you if maybe by doing the math, you might be able to wield this by what level 40, which is damn like it's a lot. But hey, it is what it is. If you want to use it, you can sacrifice whatever you want for it. But there you guys have it. The executioner and steam hammer. The best two-handed weapons you can find in the game. They're way better than Basher, but Basher obviously has different requirements, which I think are also for what it does. It's a little bit, um, I guess, you know, it's a little bit overbearing because 68 strength is still a lot. But point is, Steam Hammer is there. They both don't do anything special. Basher's at least does bleed damage, but the, none of these two do anything special besides the fact that they're extremely powerful. But that is it for today, guys. I hope you guys found the video informational. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you guys enjoy 
the weapons themselves if you're able to wield them. And that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. We're finishing up our legendary guide. I got maybe another four more videos of these to make. I already put combined these two into one. I'll see if I can combine another two. But anyways, you guys, thank you guys for watching. You can follow me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Links are down in the description below. Along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting me there. All dollar that keeps the landlord away. I'm your host, Mike Fury. It's been a complete pleasure. Until next time, Mike, off.